Hello, my name is Philip Nilsson. For the last 15 years, I've been working with internet projects in Greece and other European countries. Many of these were in the travel and in the tourism business. Today, I want to share with you four personal passions, four applicable ideas for Greece to become the leading destination in the world. Now, this is a formula I could never talk about. I always used to fail all the math exams I took, and I probably still will. But this is a formula I'd like to share with you. This is my vision. Take four passions. Take into consideration the global competition. Divide it by the difficult, current difficult Greek business situation and environment, and multiply it a billion times through the web. And share it with people like you, Ted Bitten people like you, and try to establish a new Greece in the new era. But let's have a look at what is Greece. And is this Greece now? Ligo krasi, ligo thalasa, ketagorimu. From Marinella, Eurovision, 1970s. Or can this be the Greece of tomorrow? Luxury buildings, human vanity. Or how about this? Golf courses, hundred, uh, tens of golf courses, hundreds of golf courses, thousands of golf courses. Now, if you want to become a superpower destination in golf, it's not about turning the seven existing golf courses into 17, but it's at least 217. Serious serial golfers, they want a lot of golf courses to choose from. So is six star infrastructure and golfing the landscape away a sustainable and doable future? No. And to be honest, maybe we don't want it. You see, we don't have the wealth like they have in Dubai. We don't have the water as you need for golf. And we have the wall, the Greek bureaucracy. WWW, three times. Tijeo, then no This online booking thing, um, it's not what has revolutionized and changed the fundamentals of the traveling and the tourist industry today. It's a social media thing where people with common interests, they can come together very, very quickly and uh, share, learn, act, and of course travel. Now, everything we do today must be web enabled. The four passions I'll talk about, they're already on the web right now. What we must do is identify our passions, foster them, cultivate them, and share them with others. The first one, sea discovery. Does every know, everybody know what this picture is? Yeah? It's a Titanic. But unfortunately, not a lot of people know what this picture is. Now, this is a picture from Parasitikos Kolpos, in which there are hundreds, literally hundreds, of ancient sea wrecks, even prehistorical settlements. The Greek seas are full of such underwater museums. Recently, a gigantic commercial ship was found from the 5th century before Christ, full of 4,000 amphoris, full of wine. Now, which other country can offer such experiences. The sea is the source of life. And as Sylvia Earle dynamically states, no blue, no green. The sea, it's not only about this non-moving stuff, but it's also about the living stuff. Together with my children, I spend a lot of time in summer playing with wild dolphins in the Corinthian Bay. It's a magical experience. So the sea is not about just about um, um, the, sea, the sea is not just about swimming, about the beaches, about scuba diving, about underwater museums, about windsurfing, about sailing, about the history of Skandalopetra, and much, much more. Like the pictures? Let's go to point two.
digital landscaping photography. Now, in this frustrated world we live in, people's desire to express themselves, to create things, is really increasing dramatically. On the other hand, the prices of good photographic equipment, of good digital photographic equipment, is falling rapidly. The death of the film has made the learning curve very, very cheap, fast, and fun. It's what I call instant digital learning. Now, for good photography, for good landscape photography, you don't need any human uh, infrastructure. It's actually the less you have, the better it is. One thing only is need, is, that is needed, and that's good light. And fortunately, no politicians can get their hands on it. Greece has a magical light. This is an example of a website that sells photo tours. If you look in the middle, you'll see that two of these tours, they're actually selling Greece. And if you look carefully, you'll see one is already sold out, and this is for two, 2011, that they're off season. They're in April and May. There's a guy called Andreas Baker. He's a Dutch photographer, very famous Dutch photographer. He now lives in Zawarohoria with his Greek wife, and he offers photo, traveling, photo uh, lessons to tourists. In the future, photo traveling is going to grow big time. But let's go on to the third thing, culinary tourism. Now, more and more, all over the world, people are becoming a bit more conscious about what they're putting down, what they're putting in their mouth, i.e. what they're eating. You, the Greek culinary is unique. It's a wonderful experience. And there is already some very unique people out there who are doing some very unique things. This is Arleia. She does Greek cooking lessons in the island of Kea. And here you see Arleia uh, with two of her students. And here you see one of the students has posted their experiences on the web. Now, if you look at her, if you look at her smile carefully, you'll probably understand she's American. <laughs> and if you can read the, the comment underneath, it says, I'm never going to eat any of this Americanized Greek food anymore. But if we can have just, with a bit of sound, 30 seconds of the video. All right, everybody, hi. Here I am in Greece. Um, it is definitely nothing like I expected, but it's still beautiful nonetheless. You know, the, the flavors mixed together. Fourth and final point, running trips. Now, all over Europe and all over America, people are running. And they're not only running away from their problems, but they're also running for fun. Does anybody know this? This is the Virgin Forest Trail. It's a little race that takes place in a village called Paranesti. Has anybody done that race? It's up in northern Greece near Drama. Well, I ran that race on Saturday and running in a virgin forest, 30 kilometers, next to the Nestos River. That's an amazing experience. Three weeks ago, I ran around the Ioannina Lake with another 800 people. Now, that's double the number of people than ran last year. All over Greece, from small 10-kilometer races to huge 250-kilometer Spartathlon races, are attracting more and more visitors. Running is the cheapest and fastest growing sport. On the 31st of this October, 24,000 sets of legs are going to start running in marathon. A large proportion of these legs are not even Greek. Now, I'm not a very good runner, but I know this. If you take your passion, like I have here, Paranesti, and you put it next to your heart, and you share it with other people, we're halfway there. 
Because with these four passions, sea discovery, digital landscape photography tours, culinary and tourism, running trips, we can create a unique Greece that travelers will demand and that will create a wonderful, a most wonderful country for 12 months a year. Polite speakers are supposed to have one last lie that says T-H-A-N-K. My five letters are share. Share your thoughts, share your experiences. Send emails. Bye.